Solve the following equation for x. So we've got two brackets x minus 3x, close brackets is equal to 4, 2x plus 11. So writing the thing out to begin with, and the first thing we need to do is to expand the brackets. So to do that I need to do 2 times 8, which is 16, 2 times minus 3x, which is minus 6x, 4 times 2x, which is 8x, and 4 times 11, which is 44. Now we ask ourselves the same question, which is the larger and which is the smaller? We've got minus 2x and 8x, obviously minus 6x is the smaller, so I need to add 6x on to both sides. If I add 6x to this side, I'm just going to get... I'm just going to get 16. If I add 6x to this side, 8x plus 6x gives me 14x, and I've still got the plus 44. The opposite of adding 44 is to take away 44 from both sides. So 16 take away 44 is to minus 28. And on this side, I'm just going to have 14x, and that 44 will disappear. Now to divide by 14. If I divide by 14, I'm going to get that 20, minus 28 divided by 14 is minus 2. Now I need to do a check. So the left hand side, I need to go back to the original thing, 2 brackets 8 minus 3x. So we're going to have 2 brackets 8 minus 3 times minus 2. Minus 3 times minus 2 is plus 6, so this becomes 2 brackets 8 plus 6. 8 plus 6 is 14, so it becomes 2 times 14, and 2 times 14 is 28. On the right hand side, I've got 4 brackets 2 times minus 2 plus 11. 2 times minus 2 is minus 4, so we're going to have 4 brackets minus 4 plus 11. Minus 4 plus 11 is 7, 4 times 7 is 28. And because I've got balance on both sides, this is now correct, I can consider my answer as correct. Now, it has come out that x at minus 2 is equal to x. This is okay to leave it like that, but it might be preferable to write it as x is equal to minus 2. Notice that all the equal signs are in a straight line.